He leaves behind a brutal legacy. He was actively plotting in the region. He was planning more such attacks. And he was a monster. He was a bad figure. And the Middle East's most brutally effective commander that provided Iraqi insurgents specially made bombs that could penetrate armor. How can a senior military commander be a social activist, an environmentalist, and a kind friend all at the same time? In the following, we will look at some of the incredible dimensions of a world-class military commander's characteristics. Before watching this, you need to put aside all mental stereotypes you may have. General Soleimani as an environmental activist. In every war, unfortunately, we always see destruction that seriously threatens nature and the life of the animal species in an area. This is either due to the destructive effects of conventional and non-conventional weapons or due to the immoral behavior of the military in burning and cutting the plant cover and forests or their unreasonable killing of animals in the course of military operations. But what do General Qasim Soleimani's actions show us concerning this matter? He was inspecting one of the areas of conflict with ISIS, where the sound of artillery shells, mortars and clashes with ISIS could still be heard all around them. In the midst of that violent conflict, a wandering lost cow became his first concern. <laughs> He gave it some of the little food he had. General Soleimani as a social activist. From 2017 to 2019, several natural disasters occurred in Iran. Floods and earthquakes in the north, south, east and west of Iran had frequently occurred. The people in the south and southwest of Iran, who are mostly Arabic-speaking Iranians, experienced a devastating flood in 2019. In the midst of the crisis, the presence of General Soleimani with his close friend, who was later martyred, Abu Mahdi al-Mohandis, in the flooded areas of Khuzestan province, along with their providing abundant assistance in the field, encouraged and cheered the local people. The people saw the general who fought terrorism among themselves, this time helping in this crisis. At the order of General Soleimani, one of the military bases in the province became a crisis headquarters. With the help of Abu Mahdi al-Mohandis, he brought the required engineering equipment and tools from Iran and Iraq to this region. The general, who until just recently had been involved in the war with ISIS for establishing peace and security in the region, was working shoulder to shoulder with his compatriots to solve the problems of the people in this crisis. General Soleimani and overflowing sincerity and kindness. The image people have of military commanders is often that of dry, serious and determined people. These are behavioral traits that have roots in the military environment. General Soleimani's impressiveness and seriousness were exemplary in his personality. But on the other hand, his charisma, sincerity and being one of the people were some of his characteristics without which the people of Iran and the region could not imagine him. Even when this military commander was at the front or in a difficult battlefield, he maintained his gentleness in dealing with his soldiers. His gentleness was twice as much when he was among the people. Although he had been taking selfies with young people and teenagers for hours, he could not break the heart of a teenager who came to take a selfie with him, even though it was very late, since the general was just leaving the gathering.
evidence of the general's sincerity and great kindness can be seen in the fact that the people of Iran and the region held enormous, unprecedented funeral processions and commemoration ceremonies for him in Iran and the region. It's worth considering, how could a military general with the awesomeness of Qasim Soleimani gather all these attributes within himself? <laughs>